Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a yummy and tasty butter chicken recipe. Uh, this is a very famous Indian uh, recipe and uh, uh, everyone likes this. Uh, this goes very well with the roti, parathas, uh, chapatis and everything uh, for the breads and nons. Um, and it's very easy recipe. I uh, hope you like it by simply going and uh, paying in the restaurants. You can make it at home. Um, so I will show you how to make this today. Let's start and I hope you are liking my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start making butter chicken. Now here I have marinated the chicken uh, overnight. Uh, if you can, you can marinate for uh, at least minimum uh, 2 hours uh, so that uh, the taste will be good. Uh, so that the, all the spices will mix in together. Uh, I have uh, marinated it before only so I'm going to show you uh, tell you what are we need to marinate for this ingredients I'll just uh, You can see in my uh, box uh, the video in the video the uh, ingredients which we need uh, we need uh, one teaspoon of salt and uh, one teaspoon of red chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of garam masala powder and half a teaspoon of uh, coriander powder and uh, half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and uh, three tablespoons of curd and we need uh, half lemon we have to squeeze a half lemon in this and if you want you can add some uh, red food coloring uh, it is optional if you don't want you can just leave it so these are the ingredients I have mixed up and I uh, have uh, kept it overnight. Now uh, I have to make this, uh, I have to cook this chicken. Now for making the gravy or uh, for the butter chicken, uh, I'm going to add uh, some oil, uh, 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil in this. Or you can add butter, butter also and um, 2 bay leaves. Adding the bay leaves, the cloves, four to five cloves, and two cardamoms. In this, I'm gonna add one medium-sized onion and four big-sized tomatoes. And I have taken one is to four, and some uh, three to four green chilies. Uh, we need to cook all these in the well. First, I'll put the onions and the green chilies. Let's sort it a little. We will add a little bit of uh, salt, maybe half a teaspoon of salt, and uh, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric. We will add in this, and we're going to mix it. And I'm going to add some uh, the tomatoes. Oh, I forgot to add the ginger garlic paste. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste in this. And we have to fry this. Now we're going to add the tomatoes or you can add the tomato puree also if you want. And we need to let it cook for uh, around 5 to 10 minutes till the tomatoes are well cooked. And in this uh, I'm going to add um, some tin cashew nuts and uh, half a teaspoon of uh, red chili powder I'm going to add in this and half a teaspoon of coriander powder and a half a teaspoon of garam masala I'm going to add and mix it well And 
and allow this to cook for 5 to 10 minutes. Add a little bit of water in this and close it and uh, cook it for a few minutes. And let us check this. Uh, this is almost cooked. This is done with this. Now we have to blend this in the blender and uh, we have to make it into a fine paste. I will take it out in the dish and we will uh, blend this. And in the same pan, we're going to add some oil. One tablespoon of oil we will add and one tablespoon of butter. And we need to cook the chicken in this. So I'm adding all these. Now I'm gonna marin put all the marinated chicken in this and cook it well. We need we shouldn't uh, deep fry. Uh, this is just pan fry. We have to fry this till it is cooked. Now we're gonna fry this uh, well till it, the chicken is cooked. Uh, we have to wait for five to ten minutes. Now the chicken is almost cooked, uh, 10 minutes is over. See, now it has fried well, like chicken tikka. Uh, now we will take this and let's start making the gravy. Now I'm going to make the gravy in the same pan uh, so that that uh, taste will come out well. I'm taking uh, 2 tablespoons of oil and we need uh, butter, lots of butter. I'm going to take uh, lots of butter because since this is a uh, butter chicken, this I'm gonna add one teaspoon of uh, red chili powder and half a teaspoon of coriander powder and a little bit of uh, half teaspoon of salt as per uh, your taste you have to add and you have to toss this little. now I have made the gravy paste I'm gonna add in this it well just let it cook for uh, two minutes just two minutes just let it cook after one minute now I'm going to add all these uh, fried chicken in this and mix it well this is very easy once the gravy is ready it takes only few minutes uh, we have to just uh, sort this and uh, you have to just let it cook uh, so that the gravy, the chicken absorbs the gravy a little. Just cook for a few minutes and uh, look for the taste, salt and everything whichever is needed. I just want to see whether it is hmm, it's pretty tasty. It's perfect. Uh, maybe I have to add a little bit salt in this. Uh, so I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. And all the spices are perfect. Butter chicken is gonna get ready. You can add uh, fresh cream in this or a little bit milk if you think the tomatoes are too sour. You can add milk if you don't have fresh cream. Now in two minutes this will be uh, fully done. Let me close this. Just let it cook for one minute, that's enough. Now I'm going to add in this some uh, kasuri methi. I need to crush and put in this. Uh, this gives a very good flavor. Now my uh, butter chicken is almost done. I'm going to add some coriander also. I'm going to add some coriander leaves. Mix it into. I'm going to mix it. We have, I'm getting a nice uh, flavor because of the kasuri methi and the coriander. It's very nice, yummy flavor. Now 
this is done let's take it to the dish here it is yummy and tasty butter chicken uh, this is ready for you uh, this is this goes very well with uh, rotis chapatis parathas and everything uh, this is a very famous uh, indian recipe and hope you like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel